there's a thing that you and I are dealing with in your money, and it's called math. And none of those things I just mentioned give you a pass on math. And where people get themselves in trouble, including when I went broke many years ago because I was stupid, we get ourselves in trouble when we don't bother and do the math before we do the transaction. We make $90,000 a year and somehow in our brains figure out that our children deserve a $50,000 Honda SUV. And now we have to take the kids out of private school because we can't pay the payments on the SUV and the private school because we didn't do math. We're 21 years old. We buy a $10,000 car, run up $10,000 in credit card debt, and have $10,000 in medical bills and make $30,000 a year. When you make $30,000 a year, there's nowhere in that plan that $30, the $10,000 car makes sense. There's nowhere in that plan that running up a bunch of credit card debt gives you any room to breathe. You already can't breathe. We have three kids. We make $28,000 a year. Should I go back to work, the woman asks. $28,000 income with three kids. Our health care is provided by Medicaid, which is welfare, because we qualify. If I go back to work, we won't qualify for that. And if we go back to work, if I go back to work, they'll have to pay for daycare. And I'm not sure I'm going to even break even. At least she was doing math up front and thinking about it before she made the decision. Now, of course, her answer to her equation is both she and her husband need to develop some kind of a long-term career path and a short-term series of part-time jobs and extra jobs and small business ideas that create an income that at least doubles. The bad news is they only make $28,000 a year. The good news is with a little bit of work and ingenuity, they easily can double their household income. What does all of this have in common? Every single one of these things have in common. Adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. Stephen Covey in the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People says, number one habit of highly effective people is they're proactive. They happen to things. One of the other habits is you begin with the end in mind. If you don't want to be broke people anymore, you get out of the land of payments. If you don't want to be broke people anymore, you sit down and you say, hey, here's what we make. Here's the size of our mess. What are we going to do to increase our income and decrease our outgo to be able to address the mess faster? It really is sixth grade or fourth grade math. It really and truly is. But you have to get in front of it instead of running behind it all the time. Getting in front of it is you look at your situation before you make a decision, not after you've made the decision. A $44,000 SUV when you make $85,000 a year is stupid. Whether you paid cash for it or not, it's still stupid. But when you finance it, it's double, triple stupid. But no, we live on the junk food of finance. And, and financially, we've got an obese culture that's lost its money mind. And so you guys, you have to be weird. Normal is broke. Normal is broke. And if you do normal stuff, you're going to have normal results. It's time to stop it.